Hey, what's going on guys? Alex Drew here, back at it again with another YouTube video. I've been getting a lot of comments asking how I edit, what editing software do I use, stuff like that. So today I'm gonna answer all those questions and take you through the process of how I edit one of my YouTube videos. So I've already recorded a mock YouTube video on this SD card right here and we're just gonna edit it together. I'm gonna show you guys all the techniques I use when I'm editing my YouTube videos and Hopefully I'm gonna answer a lot of you guys' questions today. So I'm excited, let's go. If you guys are ready for this video, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, and also turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload new content. You can also join right now to become a member. Just go next to the subscribe button and join the Alex Dur family if you want. If you join, you get a lot of cool perks and stuff like that, so make sure to check it out. All right, so to plug in the SD card, my uh, computer actually doesn't have an SD card slot, so I use this adapter right here. I'm pretty sure I just got this off of Amazon, and I just put the SD card in and plug it into my computer. I'm currently plugging in the SD card into my computer. So to get my data, the way I do it is I go to, is I go to computer, and in computer, I have my Canon F drive, which is what the SD card is named. I'm going to open that, click on DCIM, and go to the latest folder. And here is all of my media. I recorded like a mock-up vlog. If you guys want to actually see the vlog, the vlog will actually be posted on my YouTube channel, members only. So if you're a member, you get to watch an extra special video. All right, so I'm going to take this media. I'm going to make a new folder, so I'm going to name the folder what my video is going to be, and this is a mock video, so I'm going to name it Mock YouTube Video. Boom. I'm going to take all the media and drag it into my folder. This is going to take a while, so I'll see you guys after this. All right, guys, so everything has finally officially transferred over to my mock YouTube video folder, and as you can see, here's all of the media. In this video, I it's just like a random video of just me talking, but I tried to set up points where I can show you guys how to do some of my common editing techniques. Um, for example, when I do unboxing videos, I usually do those like cool smooth motion shots, um, B-rolls. So I've made sure to include some of those so I can teach you guys how to do that. I've also included moments where I can make the graphics pop up because a lot of you guys ask that. And yeah, just stay tuned. I will probably add chapters on this video because, um, it seems like an appropriate video to do so. And you can just scroll through the chapters on the bottom and see what techniques you want to learn or just like watch the whole video if you're just interested to see how I edit my YouTube videos. A lot of you guys ask, what software do I use for editing? So drum roll please, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I get it from my school for free, thank you so much. Otherwise, you will have to pay like a monthly or yearly subscription to get it. So I'm going to open Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so Premiere Pro has just launched. You can see here are my YouTube things. I'm going to make a new project in Premiere Pro. And I'm going to name it Mock Video Edits. But yeah, this is what I use down here. Check it out if you want or not. I'm pretty it's pretty much just default for me. So the first thing I do is obviously import my media. And the way we do the way I do that is I go to the bottom left where it says import media to start. I double click, I go to desktop, I go to mock YouTube video, the folder that I want to import, and I just select everything in here and click open. All right, so now that all of the media is imported into the Adobe Premiere Pro software, we can actually finally start editing. So the first basic that I learned and that probably everyone should know when using Adobe Premiere Pro is the toolbar. So over here is the toolbar and the basic things that you're gonna use is the pointer, which can be hot keyed to V. So if you click V, you'll get pointer or you can just click this little square and the cut tool which can be hotkeyed to C. So if I click C, I get the cut tool. If I click V, I get the pointer tool. With the pointer tool, you can move clips and drag things around, even shorten some clips, lengthen some clips. And with the cut tool, you can make cuts, incisions. And that's gonna be the basis of editing, pretty much. So I found my first clip. It is right here, the one highlighted. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on it with my pointer tool and drag it into the timeline where it says drop media here to create the sequence. There's me on the screen and my timeline's right here. Now, as you can see, the top bar is the video and then the bottom bar is the audio. And I think the audio is really helpful because that helps me edit super fast because I know where I speak and where I do not speak. So what I do pretty much is I do this for all my clips and then I add the effects after. What I do is I just edit it, cut, cut, cut. I just, all of the footage I want to show, I don't worry about any effects, any text, nothing. I just cut everything from the beginning to the end and um, I'll show you guys a preview of how to do it. So as you can see, there's some dead space right here. So usually I want to start that a little earlier, the video. So I want to start the video right here, right before I say, hey, what's going on guys? 
So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to use the V tool and I'm going to drag it. Boom. So now the video starts like this. Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here here, back at it again with another YouTube video. As you can see, there's a cut right there. There's a little space, so I'm just going to fill in that space. I'm going to cut at the end of the audio, cut at the beginning of the audio. So this section, I was thinking of doing something cool, but then in my head, right now, I realize it won't work out. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to find where I stopped talking about this moment right here. So I'm going to cut all of this out. The way I do that is I click C, make an incision, click V again, take this whole section and delete. Boom. And that's how I get rid of that footage that I do not want. And here's a pro tip. Instead of going here and dragging this all the way, I can just click in this dead space and delete it. And my footage just moves all the way over. So now look what we have hey again with another YouTube video. So I don't even know if you're going to like all the viewers are going to see most parts of this video because this is just a video that like acts as a placeholder so I can teach you guys how to edit. So I'm going to want to get this dead space here again and I'm just going to do this for the whole video. So once you get pretty fast at it, this is what it's going to look like. So you see this dead space right here. This is how fast you can eventually get at it. C, cut, cut, V, boom. So that's what I'm going to do for the whole video beginning to end and then I'll get back to you and we can add in the effects that everyone's asking. So cue the time lapse. Alright guys, so it's been around like 30-ish minutes and I have officially just completed all of the basic cuts in this now four minute and almost 30 second video. Um, and here it is, as you can see. Um, and also one quick tip, if you didn't catch it while I was doing my editing, um, I actually use this tool a lot. It's all the way at the bottom, of this, it's this slider. And you can zoom in and zoom out. And I use this a lot when I wanna make my cuts more precise. So you can see, I, I can only cut so precisely right now. But if I zoom in, look how precisely I can cut now. Very precise. All right, so now that all the basic cuts are done, let me teach you how to do the first Alex Tudor YouTube video effect. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to do is do my subscribe and like the little bell graphic. Um, and that is actually pretty easy to do. So let me show you how to do it. So I've actually been in need of finding a new graphic because I thought my other one was kind of outdated. So this is the way I do it. I go onto YouTube and I search up like and subscribe graphic and you want to look with, for the ones that have a green chroma key background. So this is one of them. Let's see if I like it. So I kind of like the first one, not gonna lie. So this is how I do it. Oh, there's a download link. So I will link this video down below in the description if you guys want something like this. All right, so I currently just got the graphic downloaded. It was pretty easy and I'm just gonna drag it into my media. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chroma key this. So I'm going to go into effects and I want to type in ultra key. So when you see the effect, just hover over, put it on. Next, you want to go to effect controls and you want to find this key color, little eyedropper and click the green. There we go. Now it looks really cool. It looks like that cool graphic. Next, you want to move it in the correct space. So I usually just like rough estimate it. I think this is going to be a good location. Next, it's time to move it in the right location. I'm going to make it a little smaller and move it bottom. I think that should work pretty well. So now the final product should look like this. Like that little thing when I say, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get notified whenever I upload content. You know how there's like that. Perfection. Next thing is a lot of you guys ask me this when I film my unboxing videos and it's when I do like those cool b-rolls like you see it a lot in my oculus video um, Go check that out if you haven't in the iCard right up there um, But yeah, you saw it in a lot in my oculus video. It's pretty much when I do like those smooth cool shots So I did some b-roll of my kendama um, Because I was a kendama king back in the day <laughs> Just kidding um, And yeah, I'll show you guys how to do those so I currently have the b-rolls, but as you can see look at them just look and it's slanted, it's shaky. Nah, we have to fix this, fix this up. So the first thing we do is there's some background audio. We want to remove that. Now we want to keep the video layer. We want to delete the three audio layers because we don't want that. Now we can unlock the video layer. So now we have these clips. Now this clip, first one, 
already out of the gate looks terrible. So what we're going to want to do is go into effect controls, click on the clip, go to effect controls, and as you can see, there is a rotation. So we're going to want to rotate it. Let's test five. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to want to zoom in so it doesn't look odd. Perfect. And now lastly, we need to address the shakiness. Look how shaky that is. Now we can't have that. This is what we're going to do. We're going to search up warp stabilizer. And this is a lifesaver when it comes to doing B-rolls. Look how much better this makes it look. So we're going to warp stabilize this. All right, so now it is stabilizing. Let's see how this looks. I honestly do not have that much hope for this. So if warp stabilizer can do it, that'd be amazing. Let's see. So a background is a little bit shaky, but honestly, this is probably on me. I did a probably really bad filming job. So here's another one. I have to cover my school's name. Okay, let's put warp stabilizer on this one. I have more hope for this. Let's see how it looks. So this is usually hit or miss, but usually if you have a good shot, you can make it work. Look how much smoother that is. Straight pan. And this is the last B-roll shot that I have. So warp stabilizer on it. Okay, so the warp stabilizer is finishing up stabilizing. Let's see how it looks. Please look good. Okay, see, look how smooth that looks. Boom. Warp stabilizer, that's how my B-rolls look so nice. All right, so right here, it's a little funny moment. When I do funny moments, I sometimes like to zoom in. And um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So right here, I landed a kendama trick. I wanna show it to the camera and my kendama hit the camera. <laughs> so right here, I wanna zoom into my face. That was very close to the lens because I think it adds a little comedic value, engagement uh, with the viewers. So what I do, very simple. I make sure to click on the clip. I, first, I wanna make an incision for where I want the zoom in to happen. I wanna click on the clip, double click on image, and then I just wanna take one of these little dots here, drag it in, and then I can just move around the frame. And there we go, that's where I wanna zoom in. So now we have this. That was very close to the- By the way guys, I am not a pro at editing. So this is just showing you guys how I edit. If you wanna learn how to actually edit, take some classes, I don't know. When I was setting up my AirTag, my um, address was on the screen the whole time. So I had to motion track my phone for basically like half of the video, and make sure that my address was blurred. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that because I added in the video and why not free content. I want to motion blur my phone moving across the screen. So I'm going to cut at the beginning. I'm gonna let the phone move across the screen and I wanna cut at the end right there. So I wanna take that clip, uh, the clip between the two incisions and I wanna search in the effects Gaussian blur. drag it on the clip. What we want to do is find the FX Gaussian Blur tab, and we want to make sure we click this little square, and that will create a mask. So there we go, there's our mask. If you see on the left here, this is the highlighted clip. So we want to drag it all the way at the beginning, and what we want to do is move this over the phone. So currently, there's not much to see, but then what we're gonna do is we're going to click the little stopwatch on mask path. Boom and that creates keyframes. So now, it's like playing a little game. You're gonna move it a little, and we're gonna move this along with it. Boom. Move it a little, move it along with it. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way down. You can see how this was a pain to do for half the video, so I'm just gonna adjust this right now. Boom, boom. I'm just gonna move that off the screen. Okay, so now, if we go through this, look. The little blue rectangle, if I click on it, moves along with the phone. But how do we get the blur? The blur is the last thing I usually do. And I go into blurriness and usually set it around 50. Now, as you can see, there's a blur. If you wanna make it a little cleaner, you can do the feather and just increase that so it's like a little, you know, more smooth. And this is the final result. Let's watch it. There's the blur. So the last thing is sound effect and timing. Roll. Second to last thing. Technically the last thing is the outro. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the sound effects and timing And I think this is really fun You can add a lot of depth and character to your video through this technique, which I honestly sometimes I'm too lazy and I cop out of it But if you really want to you know sometimes you do it So as you can see I'm gonna go like this and I want the word subscribe to pop up with the sound effect to enhance it I'm using the arrow keys right now to go between frame and I want it to pop up right there So what I do is to go into the toolbar, and remember the toolbar I talked about at the beginning? You wanna click the type tool, and I want to type 
sub subscribe. I, usually I go to graphics for typing, so first go to graphics. As you can see here, you have a lot of stuff. So I want to make it black, and I want the text to be, and make it a little bigger, and keep it right there. Watch. Now, look how smooth this is. Boom. So as you can see, my hair is kind of making the B kind of hard to read, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stroke and enable it, thicken it out a little to make the subscribe a little easier to read. Boom. Okay, so there we go. We have everything lined up. Now, to enhance this a little more, let's add some sound effects. I want a pop sound effect. Let's see how this one sounds. Perfect, I want the second one. And I usually do this by just going to YouTube to MP3, convert. And now I'm gonna drag this into Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to isolate the pop sound that I want so I remember it's the second one. Isolate it, delete everything else around it. Honestly, notice that the volume is a little low so I'm gonna raise it by right clicking on the, the pop sound effect, go to audio gain and just audio gain it by 10 decibels. I'm going to put it at the beginning of when the subscribe pops up, so let's see how that sounds. And I'm gonna copy and paste it to where the like is. So now we have this. Subscribe, Bam. And show how to put the sound effect on. And then on my left hand, like. There we go. It's that easy to just align sounds and text and clips and whatever and just add some more depth to your video. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is my outro, which is actually really easy. So what I do is I use the text tool and I've already made a little example here because it kind of takes a while. So this is my template. I use a text tool. I type recommended video at the top, subscribe right next to it, and then I have this little thing for my big fans and super fans. So I'm gonna, I don't not have any big fans and I currently have one super fan. I'm going to type in my super fan's name. So I typed in my super fan name. I'm just gonna fill this out. That's a little too big. Fill this out a little more. And there we go. This is my little outro tingy majig. So just a quick little tip when I do like the this thing to the camera, I go over and the first time I see pure black, the first frame, see incision, cut it, and then I start my outro. So then I get this little look. Boom. I may I also make sure to use a cross dissolve so it just smooths into it. Um, a cross dissolve can be found by going to the effects type tab, typing cross dissolve and dragging it on. There we go, just like that. It's pretty simple. And there we go, that is my YouTube video. If there's one last thing I need to do, it is to go through the YouTube video, make sure there are no mistakes, and I'll let you guys know if there are any and I'll show you how guys how to export. This just in, I finished watching the 4 minute and 32 second video and flawless, no mistakes, so I'm ready to export it and I'll show you guys how to do that. So first steps first, you're going to have to go all the way to the top left of the screen and click on file, then you want to export and then click media. Next you want to make sure that your format is in H.264 and your preset is YouTube 1080p full HD. You want to change your output name to what you want it to be. Make sure you keep the MP4. And usually I like to click use maximum render quality. Make sure that's the whole video you're exporting. There we go. And we are just going to click export. Let's see how long it takes for me. All right, so my video just finished exporting and it's on my desktop. And that is it. That is how I basically edit a YouTube video. Obviously, I would not use every single one of these techniques in every video. For example, I would use the zoom ins on a lot more of the like visual effects in my funny videos or not funny videos like vlogs and stuff like that and i'd use more of those b-rolls in my unboxing videos but i pretty much wanted to compile I'm, i pretty much wanted to make this mock video so i could compile all of like the different types of scenarios into one video to show you guys how i would edit any video um and i think it turned out pretty well so if you guys actually want to see the video that i edited that i just edited it will actually be on my youtube channel for members only so if you want to see it consider becoming a member once again not forcing it's just one of the perks that you get for being a member you get some ex cool exclusive content so yeah if you like this video make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to this channel also turn on notifications to get notified when i upload new content and also consider joining this channel and becoming a member and i'll see you guys in the next video peace